Hi everyone, welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. Y'all are incredible. I hope you are all having a lovely long weekend uh, just before school starts for us here in Canada. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a, a beautiful end of summer. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to bring the sound bowl. We'll get started. I'd really like to do a love reading today because it's been a minute. So let's check in on the person who's most on your mind. Okay, most on your mind. Um, rolling the sound bowl, call in spirit and get started. Here we go. Calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude, I ask for divine guidance. As I interpret these messages, may they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Okay, um, I'm going to start with the island time wellness. And let's just get an overall vibe of the person who's most on your mind. Oh, we're going to start with the hammer. <laughs> All right, then we have sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So the hammer is representative of something that we're either breaking down or building up, right? So it really just depends on the energy that accompanies it. So let me just get some clarification. Okay, we have Cupid's arrow, right? So somebody's working on something, building something up, right? Instead of tearing something down which is a good thing. So it says, have faith, love is coming, right? So someone's working on something, rebuilding something in the background. The person that you are thinking about right now is really wanting to uh, plan or is planning, not wanting to, is planning some type of surprise, uh, surprise invitation or meeting, okay? Uh, a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of hesitation here uh, because look at this makes a lot of sense. We have the not today vibe here and I feel like that could be you or just saying that it's not happening today, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, not dealing as someone still hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call or a person, um, boundaries, still angry. So uh, this could be someone that's on your mind. It's okay to like I just have to say that two things can be true. You could be upset with someone. They could still be on your mind. You could still have feelings for them, or you could still be curious as to what's going on with them on their end. I've got to tell you, if you've been recently split or in an argument or in some kind of separation from the person who's on your mind, um, and even if you're still a little pressed about whatever happened between the two of you, um, just know that they are working on something. They are going to be back around. They're going to reach out to you. They're planning something behind the scenes. So let's get into that. Um, especially with the hammer energy, the not today, it's just like something has been broken down, but the person that has, it, the person that's on your mind here is really trying to come up with a way uh, to come up with some kind of strategy on how to work on things, okay? That's all we've got for now, right? So having faith, you know, they're having faith that they'll uh, be able to repair whatever here has been broken. Um, we also have coffee cup. So again, uh, they could be planning a surprise meeting or running into you or they know where you go to have coffee or something like that. Um, they could be inviting you out to have this meeting to let's go talk about it. Let's go get a cup of coffee or a drink, whatever it is. It's meant to be a casual invitation to start with, um, to savor the moment, to feel uplifted, to nurture any bonds of friendship that are still present between the two of you. Now, of course, this is a love reading. So um, I, there's still some sort of bond that's felt even from your side, even if you're still mad, even if you're saying not today, um, don't come at me today. Maybe they're just trying to wait for the right time. Okay. Uh, but there is some kind of plan that they are at least wanting to um, put out there towards you, you know, okay, can we go for coffee? Can we talk about this? 
Is there anything left to rebuild? Do I still have a shot? That kind of a thing. Um, so that's what's coming up here for our collective. Of course, you all know that I'm nosy and I'm going to look more into it. <laughs> so just let me grab a deck here. Um, Spirit, tell me why we're here. What happened so I can... Uh, really narrow this down for those of you who are tuning in. Of course, it's a general reading, so take what fits. Um, if nothing does, then just scroll on, then it wouldn't be for you, right? Um, only stick around and only tune into readings that A, make you feel good, make you feel better, or um, make sense to you and your situation. If a reading, I don't care if it's me or someone else, is um, making you feel very upset and hurt and angry and triggered and all the things... You can do one of two things. You can ask yourself why you, you might feel triggered by something that someone says. There's usually something that needs to be looked at or healed when that happens. Triggers are there for a reason um, because something needs attention, right? Or you can just simply scroll on because it's not your story. It doesn't fit, right? <laughs> so that's always my thing. Like never really tune into a reading if it doesn't feel like it's for you, okay? Um, yeah, but anyways, it's supposed to be here as a tool to help, not as a tool uh, to hinder. So uh, with that all being said, I want to know what puts you guys here in this position or what is the energy of the past so that we can really narrow down if this reading is for you. We have the two of swords. So some of you, I mean, you would have felt ignored by this person or you would have felt like they don't see you or they're not making a decision. Uh, they're not making any moves. They, You know that they know and they know that you know uh, that a, a choice needs to be made here and it wasn't being made, right? It was being ignored um, and that's coming up even double time here with the two of wands. Twos usually speak to decisions that we need to make so someone it's like should i stay should i go should i take this to the next level should i not do we go here do we go there what's the next move you know instead of paying attention to what needed to take place this person simply shut down um they may have even ghosted okay um and they just decided that no choice i mean it was better not to make a choice or to try to ignore the fact that a choice needed to be made okay so um and that being said we know that no choice is still a choice okay so that could be the reason why you're like you know what i can't i don't even know if i want to deal with this i don't even know if i have time for this person in my life Again, you're still thinking about them. You're still a little upset here. No one's no one's blaming you for that. Uh, it's frustrated energy for sure. Very frustrated energy, especially because it's like um, you know that they know and they know that you know that they know. Like it's so stupid. It feels like it's something that should be addressed and it's something that should be fairly easy. Is what I'm picking up here. It seems like it's kind of over something silly. Uh, we do have the nine of wands, so this lets me know um, that this is actually if you thought that this person wasn't if you thought that they weren't thinking about you that's dead wrong okay I feel like you are haunting this person in their waking life like do what they may to try to ignore you or try to ignore it happen or try to push it out you know like they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about the last conversation they can't get you out of you know, they can't get you out of their head, right? And I feel like it's taking a toll on this person's mental health, like in their stability, honestly. Um, there's a lot of fear and a lot of doubt within this individual. Um, and this is obviously, I, fe I feel to me, this is obvious, why they went into some kind of freeze mode. Like, you know, that survival instinct that we all had, whatever was brought up, whatever area this could be like a commitment issue or it could have just been an argument or a decision again that you feel should be a really easy decision to make okay so it's going to be a little bit different for everyone in your situation but the decision overall the energy is like this should be an easy choice for you and the fact that it's not it you know it gives red flags like it's making me upset like i don't you know you should know you should know right <laughs> this is the energy you should know you should this shouldn't be a difficult choice to make. And the person's like, I know that. I know it shouldn't. But for whatever this was, they they were triggered. They went into that survival mode. Um, and, and what are those survival modes? It's like fight, flight, fawn, or freeze. And I feel like this person's go-to coping mechanism, conscious or unconscious, whatever, it is freeze mode. 
All right, so this person froze. Um, now that's the backstory. Okay, so let's get into the present moment. Okay, we do know that they are trying to rebuild or they're trying to come up with some kind of strategy. They're wanting to reach out um, or planning to reach out. They could also be aware of your vibe of being like, okay, maybe not today. Maybe today is not a good day to do that. Uh, they could be picking up on that. Or maybe you have stated like, I am not ready to talk to you. I'm not ready to revisit this. You could still have a little bit of some residual anger. Um, but in the meantime, like we have the death energy, right? We have the death energy. So um, you, I mean, I, I'm not going to tell you how you feel, but there is a feeling overall that this is over or it's, okay, so we have death. Now death speaks to the ending of one phase and the beginning of something else. It's a transition. It's a change. It's things, okay, so <laughs> it's like I am not ever going back again. I'm not going to deal with this kind of situation again. I'm not putting myself into a situation like this again. I'm not repeating cycles, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm putting a full stop to this kind of, I don't know, I feel like this is something that's happened more than once, okay? That's what I mean, like this is something that has happened more than once between the two of you and I feel like you're like full stop, I'm just not, I'm just not going there again. Now, that doesn't mean that you never would, it's like I'm not going back to the way it was. So if you come at me from a totally different vibe and you have gone through some kind of change or something has changed, then we'll talk, but I need to know that something's changed, right? What's changed? And I feel like that's probably going to be, like, let's say this person calls you up tomorrow. And it's like, yo, you want to go for coffee? You're like, okay, well, what's changed? Like, are you still da 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 Have you decided da 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 The answer is no, then you're like, not today. Hang up the phone. Like, that's how, that's how strong your resolve is in this situation. <laughs> okay, so let's see if there is some kind of transformation because death wouldn't come out unless there was some kind of shift that was taking place, all right? So let's talk about this person. We have the eight. I didn't even get to finish asking and the eight of uh, pentacles came out, which does speak to self-mastery, working on the self. Uh, working on changing, working on something. Okay, so what is it that they are working on, please, Spirit? Let's get the tea. What is this person working on behind the scenes? I just heard to impress you. <laughs> I just heard to impress you. This person's working really hard to impress you. Uh, they could be just trying to get their money right, even if there was a financial concern or if it was just like... <sighs> Taking something seriously. What was this? What is this? What is this? Yo, the, another two came out talking about the choices, going back and forth. No more juggling. No more him and han. No more, you know, this is like, look what fell out with that. I'm getting your energy. <laughs> I am getting your energy. I feel like they know that they cannot play. They can't play any games. They can't play you. They can't come back. Unless there's been a shift and change within them, I feel like it's very clear. I feel like you made yourself clear. Uh, whoever's reading this is, you put down some pretty strong boundaries here. Congratulations. Awesome. You stood up for yourself, for your heart. You're protecting yourself. You really are not taking anyone's BS. This is the queen of swords. So you could be um, an air sign. So you could be, what is that? Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be, you could have a stronger chart. It's really speaking to the energy. Um, masculine, feminine, it's a feminine vibe, but it really doesn't matter. You could be uh, in this energy of the Queen of Swords being like, look, Queen of Swords has a no BS. Like they have this filter for BS that's like, mm -mm, you can't even come near me. Like <laughs> um, there's this detector. They can tell if you're lying or if you're being truthful, if you're acting with integrity, you know. And then if you're not, heads will roll kind of a vibe. So that's your energy coming up. Um, and I feel like you standing your ground in this particular situation with this person is really actually going to help y'all overcome some of these challenges or whatever this last challenge was, okay? You wanted something to change. And I feel like because, again, I was getting that this is something that has been repetitive between the two of you. So because of that, 
you had to respond differently to their behavior that you weren't necessarily on board with, right? So that freezing, that ignoring, that ghosting, or that like, I can't answer, or I don't have an answer for you, that wasn't going to fly with you anymore. They weren't going to get away with not giving you the information that you needed. Again, it does feel like it should be relatively easy. Um, you know, it should be a, a question or whatever it was should have been a very relatively easy thing to answer. Um, but yeah, every time it was like it was always avoided. So anyways, you wanted that to change. And so you took it upon yourself, which congratulations, we can't force other people to change. Um, we can just only be uh, responsible for ourselves and how we show up in the situation. And so you obviously learn that <laughs> and, and you realize that, okay, if I want something different, I've got to change the game, change the rules, and I am not going to speak to you or I'm not going to see you or I'm not going to whatever, try to repair this until you give me the answer. Like, <laughs> And it feels almost like it's not a manipulation. It's just you being smart. So the reason why you're getting a different response from this person or you're about to is because of you laying down the law, right? What works for you, what doesn't. If that person wants to be in your life, they there are certain things that they have to do. I mean, like, and that's, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, but you're going to get what you want from this person. And again, like, I don't want it to come off as you're being manipulative. You're just standing up for your own truth and authenticity. You're like, I'm not going to cater to whatever is going on with you, you should be able to answer this question. If you can't, sorry, not today, you know, so it's, it's, it's really I'm reading about sure the person who's on your mind, but I'm really reading on a change and a shift that's happened within you. And it's really good for you. Okay, it's working for you. Um, and I feel like you're going to be successful like the six of wands is an energy of like you know i made it i overcame the challenges like you may be in the spotlight right now um or just really the spotlight of this person's life they cannot again you were haunting them and i don't feel like you're trying to you're just like again you were fed up right so you've demanded a different energy because you changed your response to this person okay Let's move on. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So let's talk about here what their plan is. Obviously, they're going to ask you for some kind of conversation or lighthearted get together. What do they expect? Like, what do they expect? What is their plan? What is what's going on here? Two of Cups. They just want reconciliation. They want to go again, right? They want to, you know, get back to that loving feeling. What's interesting, y'all, and I cannot ignore this. We literally have every single two out in the deck. Every single one. And that doesn't happen very often in tarot, especially since I have two, four, six, eight, nine cards. And four of them are twos. <laughs> We've got all four twos out in the deck. So this person, and I, again, I said the twos were all about a decision. What's most important for them, you know, what they really want is the love to return, right? That feeling of that bond, that connection, that feeling of, oh my gosh, you know, uh, I, I want to say you complete me, but I feel like you're already a complete person on your own. You compliment me. Um we're good together. Uh, this is a soulmate, soul contract. This is, you know, whatever label you want to put on it. It's a very deep, deeply felt bond that is reciprocated. So this person has a lot of feelings for you, but they were dealing with a lot of other blockages that they had to take care of. They had to take care of, right? And I feel like that's something that they have been working on behind the scenes. Um, but again, you know, it's because the only reason why they... <laughs> Are coming to you with the answer now to your question or with that decision you know and and for some of you you may be saying to me in the comments I might, I'll probably read some that are, are going to say you know too late and that's fine this is up to you this is your life choose your own adventure we're just reading on the energy of the person who's on your mind you may be saying to yourself too late but that's not gonna stop them from reaching out to you it's not stopping them from communicating their desire to 
finally, I'm hearing, come forward in a different way, okay, uh, to rectify the situation, to give you the answer that you were waiting for, okay, or to have made some kind of decision that seems really important for the relationship, okay, so that could be anything for y'all, y'all have different situations out there, okay, and I'm just putting it like that, okay, um, it could be like, oh, what color do we paint the house or where do you want to live do i move into your house do you move into mine do we take this to the next level do we not should we go on vacation it could be whatever right like that whatever that decision that they were holding up they weren't answering you <laughs> you weren't getting an answer and it was important for your relationship that's the answer that you're going to be getting okay um if you still want to hear hear it right if you still want to hear it uh you can let me know in the comments either way i'm always keen to you know like i said i'm nosy i don't know what's going on Okay, we do have the Eight of Wands here. Not surprising. This is the message coming in. It's coming in a lot quicker than you may realize. Um, again, because you, they, you're haunting them right now. Like, I feel like they cannot uh, seem to get you off of their mind. But it, it is because they're really wanting to rebuild and overcome this, right? Um, why do they go in that freeze mode? I feel like that's a very important question because, again, the energy of what I'm picking up from y'all was that <laughs> this should be an easy answer. Like it shouldn't be so hard for you to decide this. Like, you know, like he, why would they freeze? Why are they freeze it up? Three of pentacles. Why the three of pentacles? Three of pentacles is working together, working on things, putting in solid plans for the future. It could be commitments. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I just heard don't work well with others. Okay, so I feel like this person is used to being like perhaps this like lone wolf type, like I'm better off alone or I need to work alone. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't plan with other people. Like, I don't know why, but it feels like this person is used to being on their own, making their own decisions. And it's not that you're trying to make decisions for them. It's like we're trying to make decisions together how come you don't want me like it feels like how come you don't want to be on board like you don't want me to plan this with you i don't understand like this shouldn't be so hard that's what i mean like it shouldn't be difficult if you're going to be in some type of relationship two people come together and plan a future okay they plan they make plans for the future so there's something around that it could have even have been like traveling or i'm getting specifically for some of you where to live if y'all are at a distance do I move there? You move in here. Like, what is it? Do we are, is the distance going to keep us together? Are we going to work on this? Is it going to be long distance? Like there's some of that too, because the six of swords could, you know, represent traveling over water, overseas, you know, that kind of an energy. And the eight of wands could be flying like air flights, you know? So the two of you could be at a distance, you know, and one of you, um, I feel like the other person that you're dealing with is used to flying solo or being very self-reliant, not working well with others, right? So not used to planning things with other people, that kind of a thing. Um, it's giving like, you know, somebody who's just been on their own for a long time. It's giving lone wolf energy, okay? <laughs> That's what it's giving. Um, but you know what? I feel like this person's basically saying, you know what? This isn't worth, it's not worth, there's almost like, okay, it's getting deeper. Yeah, okay, that's what I mean, it's not worth it. The sadness that I feel in separation isn't worth me. There's a feeling and a fear, I'm really getting to the root of it now, of losing my auton autonomy, right? Like this person is used to rocking alone, rocking the solo life, whatever, or not allowing another person to... It feels weird to say like not to contribute or to, to relinquish some kind of control, okay, within the partnership. That's the key word, partnership, right? This person needs to be on board with a partnership, a full equally balanced partnership where there's open communication and conversation and decisions are made together. Um, and I feel like this person's like wants to be the shock color, okay, <laughs> wants to be the shock color and, you know, and doesn't want to relinquish. It could be like a power dynamic situation going on with this person um which i mean i'm not their therapist i'm not their psychologist i'm not one of those things but 
at all. That's not me. I'm just a tarot reader, right? <laughs> um, so, I mean, I'm well read or whatever, but you know. Uh, but anyways, I'm not accredited, but it does give that like, I'm afraid if I enter into some type of solid commitment or real partnership, I'm going to lose my say. I'm going to lose myself. I'm going to lose my autonomy. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose myself. Like I'm not going to be able to make decisions. I don't, I told myself, I'm picking this up channeling. I told myself I would never allow someone else to make decisions for me ever again in my life. Blah, blah, blah. So this person at one point in time has felt very powerless within some kind of relationship, whether it be romantic or within their family life. I don't know. Um, but that is the thing that would make them freeze up. Okay. So when you're asking, okay, well, what do we eat tonight? <laughs> it could be something like, I mean, it could be something that flip and simple. And you're like, I'm sick and tired of like having to fight over just making choices, whether they be bigger or small, this person has a hard time making any decisions like at all. But this is like, I'm not, it's not worth me not having like, your person channeling it's not worth me not having the one that I love by my side like being in love and in connection like it's not worth it I'm freaking sad I'm freaking depressed they're, they're like I'm haunted when I'm not with them I would rather be with them so maybe I can breathe through this or work through this and figure out why this is so difficult for me to make this decision like I need to figure that out. So that's the planning and the strategy that is going on behind the scenes with the person that's most on your mind currently. And their intention is to repair the situation and to work together. This is what they, they do. They're like, okay, I'm opening up to that. But, you know, in the meantime, it's going to be up to you, right? <laughs> it's going to be up to you. Let me have an outgoing energy here, please, spirit. If you want, y'all, um, I'll extend it. I'll get even more nosy. I like to do the extendeds for that reason. We'll get into how the person is thinking and feeling and what's changed behind the scenes for them. Uh, direct messages, things that they want you to know, things they want to say, things they're going to say. Uh, whether or not you can trust them, has it really, has there been a change? You know, how will it turn out? If you decide to uh, give them another shot, that, that kind of thing, we really dive deeper. If you're interested in supporting through energy exchange in that way, I really, truly appreciate it. Um, I really do. And if not, that's cool and you want to support in different ways, you know, um, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing if you're if you're new, <laughs> um, that's all very much appreciated. I'm sending you all the love. Thank you. But the outgoing energy. <sighs> Y'all are going to laugh because you know why you're going to laugh? Because it's another two. It's the last two in the deck. The high priestess came up. So every two. Now we've got five twos on this. Okay. So it is all about decisions and themes, but also twos are togetherness, right? So decisions, whether or not we're going forward together, planning things together, that kind of a thing. So we have the high priestess here. And I love it because it's funny, not funny from spirit, as from for me as a reader, <laughs> an energy reader. This basically tells me it's a mystery. No one's no one's made their decisions yet. So how do I know? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. There's a telepathic communication here between the two of you, though, and use your intuition would be the outgoing message. Because only you truly know your story, your individual. Here's the lovers, another choice. <clears throat> pardon me and here's the uh page of swords that accompanied this this person <laughs> has not been able to stop watching you again um wondering also i'm getting here's the knight of cups wanting to apologize sure but also wanting to impress you i was picking that up as well it's haunting them it's like they want to do something that's going to impress you i feel like it's going to be a little bit better than showing up i mean this is the the white horse and the roses, right? <laughs> what is it? Steve's loved tarot. What does he say to this one? It always gives me a good chuckle when this guy comes up in this deck. Grocery store roses, he says, with his cute accent. I love the way he speaks. Anyways, um, but really, you know, it's it's going to be something of significance here with this uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot, which is like, let's move forward towards what? The end game, right? Towards the goal. So, I mean, the intention is there. The intention is there, you know, uh, whether or not you 
pick it, pick them to try again, that's going to be up to you, right? But we can dive deep and look a little bit deeper into this energy here for sure. Now, um, yeah, let's get a love oracle before we part ways, my loves. I'm just putting this energy back on the table so we don't forget. <laughs> All right, let's get a love oracle. Let's get a love oracle. I'm sending you all so much love. Again, thank you for being here with me. All right. What is the love oracle? I don't want to leave anyone empty-handed. <laughs> time. <laughs> this is all happening in time. So it says you're trying too hard. Give it time. You don't got to do anything. That's all that tells me is you don't really have to do anything. This is happening. Again, like I said, whether you like it or not, uh, this person will be back around and they're wanting to have, you know, they want to, they want to, they want a meeting. <laughs> they want to meet. Here we go. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes, which is very funny because we've got, I mean, I know it's going to be backwards. Okay. I'm on selfie mode here, but it's Cupid's arrow, Cupid's arrow. They love you. They love you. They can't help it. They can't help themselves. And I do feel like you haunt them, right? So it's like, you know, here's the thing is I don't think that, you know, our tribe is out there trying to take away anyone's autonomy. You know, this person's just unfortunately been dealt a pretty crappy hand in the past and they need to build a bridge to get over it. Okay. Because uh, there's a risk in love no matter what, you know, there's always going to be a risk. You put yourself out there, right? And if you decide not to, you're going to get burned if you do or if you don't, right? <laughs> That's my my way to look at it. You know, love is love. We're, we, we, we learn, we learn uh, a lesson or, you know, or it works or it doesn't. Either way, it's an experience and it's, you know, there's something beautiful to be had. But anyways, that's just my own philosophy. You don't have to agree. Uh, but yeah, I'm sending you so much love. The link's in the uh, description box below as well, pinned to the top of the comments. Thank you so much. And I will read for you again shortly, my loves. Take care. Hey y'all, welcome to the extended. Thank you so very much for your energy exchange. I truly appreciate it. Um, we're just going to start right in here. I want to know what energy they're coming towards you in and we'll start with that. Okay. So, oh my gosh, really? Look at that. We got another Cupid card. Another one. Okay. Uh, love is in the air when Cupid's around. Like well, this person is just in their feelings. Okay. And it's interesting because as soon as I cut the first part of the reading, I cut, take a minute, take a drink. Um, I heard that song and I don't even know. It just goes, I can't live if living is without you. So I heard that like really strong. Like they could be in these moments, like they're struck by Cupid's arrow. They're really in their feelings for you. Like, um, and they're even probably drowning themselves in like love songs. Like, I don't know if it's just like cheesy love songs or whatever, but they're like really getting into it. No judgment. Just like, I can't live if living is without you. Like, like just getting into it. <laughs> so I'm like really feeling that, you know? So they're really in this feeling of love, right? And, and reminiscing. Okay. Thinking of all those special moments the two of you have had, have shared, like really weighing out, remember all those twos, all the decisions that were coming up in the first part of the reading. It's like, what is more important to me? This seems so insignificant. So I feel like they're finally getting it. It's like, this should have been an easy answer. This should have been an easy decision. Why did I make it so hard? You know, why did it have, why did I make it so hard? So they are kind of going into all of their own reasons. Why, 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 why they're asking themselves, right? But again, really just getting right into it. <laughs> we have signs, okay? Watch out for signs, right? Watch out for signs leading you to true love. I feel like spirit has been like sending them in the right direction, sending them signs, synchronicities, number syncs, things like that. Um, they've been also experiencing those, especially if you have been. If you've been seeing the 1111s or the 22, 22s or whatever, uh, the ones and the twos is like new beginnings. I need to start fresh. I need my person, that kind of an energy. Um, and then we also have cherish and respect at the bottom of the deck here. Underneath that was connection. So, and heart. Also challenges, not going to lie. Okay. And guilt. Wow. It's really going off. Okay. So, um, they really respect you, your relationship. They know that you would respect them. So it's like, Again, we were talking about towards the end of the reading, like 
you know, it's not like you're out there trying to take away their capability to make decisions for themselves. Like you're not like that. Um, and love can be risky. Love can be dangerous in that sense as according to this person. But they're in this vibe of like, I can't live if living is without you. Like what? What have, what have I done for, like, this is stupid. Why am I, you know, standing on this hill and choosing this hill to die on? It seems really dumb um, <laughs> in comparison to all these special moments and their feelings for you and how deep those feelings truly are. So again, it just seems silly, right? It seems silly. So um, that's the energy that they are in. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my own deck. I'm starting to run low on these guys. Um, and maybe oh, I rarely link to my website, but they're still there and I've got a couple decks left. I got to order some more from the manufacturer, but, um, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pull the message, which already came out, which is, I can't, I know it's backwards. I can't get hurt again. I can't get hurt again. So this person has been through, I feel like the worst, maybe in some type of, um, codependent type of relationship in the past where, they felt either controlled or like their voice didn't matter or they didn't have, yeah, they didn't have a voice or they lost themselves. They lost their sense of identity. I feel like that's a really big thing for them um, when I was pulling on that lone wolf energy as well. So, you know, <laughs> this has got them like, really, what was I giving up? What am I giving up here? Like versus what I've lost being the relationship with you, right? So this is the energy and the vibe that they're in. I'm going to continue shuffling. <laughs> and um, first we'll probably, you know what, I want to start. I usually save this one till a little bit later. But we'll start with the significant spiritual change that they've got, been going through. And that's where we're going to start. And then I want to get into like, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? What's, what are their next actions? Can you trust it and all that? So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the spiritual shift that's happening within them. Okay. All right. So please show me the shift and what they've been working on. Okay. To change. What have they been noticing in themselves? What have they been changing? What spiritual lesson have they been going through spirit? What is the shift? She said she was 